Welcome to the Valhalla Filmcast, a show where normal guys talk about the films that they love. And here are your hosts, Bryce Thompson, Brian Hammond, and Cody Ryrie. Now get ready, because the show starts in 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the Valhalla Filmcast. I am Bryce Thompson. I'm Brian Hammond. And I'm Cody Ryrie. Hello, YouTube. Yeah. This is the Valhalla Filmcast. We are so glad that you clicked on this video. We hope that you enjoy what we have, what we're going to bring to you. Um, we, Dulcet tones, yes. Yes. Uh, I guess if you don't know who we are, if you've never listened to the Valhalla Filmcast, uh, we review movies, we talk about directors, we talk about things in film that we love. Uh that's pretty much about all that we talk about is things that we love. Um, occasional things we hate. That comes up. Occasional, on occasion. occasional. But mostly we try to stay positive. So Usually with Cody. Hey. <laughs> he hates a lot of things. <laughs> this is totally not true. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so one of the things I wanted to bring up, just so people will know about us, um, we kind of make our living on being normal guys who really like movies a lot. So... We focus on, you know, down-to-earth, normal stuff. We'll throw in the artsy-fartsy thing every now and then. That's Brian's category. And, uh, yeah, so we're trying, we're not artsy-fartsy here too much. We try to keep it normal and uh, every day. In fact, all three of us right now, as of this recording, we're, well, two of us work as maintenance men. Bryce used to be. Now he's on to doing something else. I don't know. Bigger and better things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, ordinary guys who love to talk about movies. Um, Brian, do you want to say anything? Introduce yourself. Um, no, I'm just excited to be on YouTube. Yeah. You guys click on us. Um, watch us. We'll be back for more. So, Okay, well, to give you a flavor of you know how we do this, we're going to play a little game called Movie Review Tennis. This is where one of us will name a person and a movie, and we serve it to them, and they have to do a 30-second review of the film. And then they serve it to somebody else, and they name a movie, and it's just kind of a fun little, real quick, we get four or five reviews out, and uh, keep us on our toes. So, Bryce, you want to start us off? Yeah, with a disclaimer, uh, this is a, a Hall of Filmcast first. Yeah. We're just testing it out on, on YouTube. YouTube. Because YouTube's great and wonderful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Brian, what do you think of the movie... Fifty First Dates. Mm. <laughs> Fifty First Dates. Um, you know, for an Adam Sandler film, it's it's good. You know, you you have the the normal, um, uh, you know, raunchy comedy that uh, you know is funny. But um, I don't know. It's a good date movie. I'd watch it with a loved one. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Brian, your serve. It's been a long time since I've seen it, though. It's my serve? Yeah. All right. Um, uh, Cody. Uh, let's see. Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is a good chance to talk about the previous podcast we have up, right? You go to to um, iTunes, other places. We have them up on Facebook. We did a show all about Fight Club. So Brian has a little bit of an idea of what I think. But. In the spirit of the game, um, I think it's a very smart movie. I think it's a very well made movie. I think it's a very well acted movie. I still think it's a little bit like being in the room with a really smart but super obnoxious 14 year old for two hours who wants to tell you all these really shocking things and they're like, yeah, and then, and then this, and then we did this in the chowder. I'm like, what? Ah, <laughs> you know, like, so I have mixed feelings about it. I know it's a classic, but, uh, and I recognize that the reasons it is a classic, but. Those are my feelings. Okay. Um, Bryce, shooting it back to you. Um, the Road Warrior. Ooh, The Road Warrior. It's a classic, amazing movie. It, it, I'm glad that I saw the newest one, the newest Mad Max, because if I wouldn't have seen it, I don't think I would have liked Road Warrior as much because there's some 
silly things you could say that are in it (laughs) but because it has the mad max stamp on it it automatically bumps it up i think that it's just a really good movie just to sit back and just hang out and watch it it's it's a good for a good action mel gibson australian craziness okay let's Um, let's do one more bryce serve the last one all right. Hmm. What is a good one? One that we don't see. Ooh. Okay. This is for both of you. Okay. Made in Manhattan. I would have had to have seen that to review it. So. I've seen it, but <laughs> I don't remember it. It was a <laughs> chick flick that I probably zoned out while I was watching it. So this is a good point to bring up. We don't normally do movies like this. Uh, They're mostly (laughs) movies that teenage boys really like. So that kind of tells you our maturity (laughs) level and also how awesome this is. So please go download uh, our previous episodes. You can find it on uh, iTunes. Um there on any major podcast outlet you can find us on there valhalla film cast and go like us on facebook follow us on twitter and if you're feeling generous we're on patreon you can help keep the dream alive and the main reason that we started this uh cody and i was because we wanted to discuss movies um we wanted to uh get this uh, our movies that we loved out there and he- hear about other movies so please uh, contact us and let us know the movies that you love and uh, let's keep the discussion going uh, that's that's why we started it all um, so thanks for listening uh, this is the Valhalla Filmcast I'm Bryce Thompson I'm Brian Hammond and I'm Cody Rowdy The following viewers' opinions and commentary are the sole property of the Valhalla Filmcast. Any unauthorized reproduction without prior consent is prohibited. Any incidental music, audio clips, or film trailers are used for the sole purpose of film criticism and commentary, as allowed under the Fair Use Act.